Greetings, everyone! Welcome back to another One Hour of Power! We're glad you could join us. We hope you had a great weekend, and uh, we're excited to dig in today. That's right, we must be uh, really messed up in the head because we started out with Christmas on Friday, and now we're in Hawaiian gear! Weird! Well, that's camp for you, but yesterday was a special day in the season of the church. Yesterday was Palm Sunday. Everybody say Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. And no, we're not talking about this side of your hands, not that kind of palm. We're talking about palm branches that people waved, and we'll talk more about that uh, in a story in the Bible. Uh, but we're going to start out with a couple songs that are fun songs to sing, and we do here at camp. It's called, the first one is called, Who's the King of the Jungle? Who, who? And there are some actions to that, so please repeat after me. After me. Who's the King of the Jungle? Who, who? Who's the King of the Jungle? Who, who? Who's the King of the Sea? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Who's the King of the Sea? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Who's the King of the Universe? Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? And who's the king of me? His name is J-E-S-U-S. Yes! His name is J-E-S-U-S. Yes! He's the king of me. He's the king of me. He's the king of the universe. He's the king of the universe. The jungle and the sea. Bubble, bubble, bubble. The jungle and the sea, bubble, bubble, bubble. And then we repeat that first part all over again. Now, there are different verses, and we'll teach it to you as we go. But we start out with, who's the king of the jungle? Here we go. the king of the freeway vroom vroom who's the king of the freeway vroom vroom who's the king of the stars twinkle 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 who's the king of the stars twinkle twinkle who's the king of the milky way who's the king of the milky way or milky way or milky way or milky way or whatever one you want to do for milk and then you go and who's the king of mars nanner 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 and who's the king of mars nanner 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 and the rest is the same so let's do that together who's the king of the freeway Peak, peak. Who's the king, king of the mountains? Peak, peak. Who's the king of the rain? Dribble, dribble, dribble. Who's the king of the rain? Dribble, dribble, dribble. Who's the king of the planet Earth? Who's the king of the planet Earth? And who's the king of Spain? Cha, cha, cha. And who's the king of Spain? Cha, cha, cha. cha, cha, cha.
all of those verses and actions, you can just go back and watch this video later and then sing it as well. We're going to do another song for you. This is uh, one that's been around camp a long time. It's called Blessed Be the Lord Our God of Israel. Some people know it as the whoop whoop song. So there are some actions, so please repeat after me. After me. And let all the people say amen. And let all the people say amen. 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 And let all the people say amen. And let all the people say amen. 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 And let all the people say amen. And let all the people say amen. 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 Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, oh praise the Lord. We go whoop, 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 whoop. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. One more time. One, One more time. time. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. 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 And then the verses are mostly an echo verse, so you can listen and sing after us. Starts out singing, Blessed be the Lord our God of Israel. Here we go. Blessed be the Lord our God of Israel. children's Bibles here, and this says, Praise to the King of Kings. It's really the story of Palm Sunday. Now Jesus and his disciples came to a village near Jerusalem. Go into the village, Jesus said to two disciples. You will see a donkey and her colt. Bring the colt to me. The disciples did what Jesus said. Some people asked, Why are you taking the colt? The Lord needs it, the disciples said. He will send it back later. 
The disciples brought the colt to Jesus. They spread their coats on the colt's back. Jesus sat on the colt. A large crowd gathered. Some spread their coats on the road in front of Jesus. Others spread palm branches from the fields along the road. Jesus rode toward Jerusalem. Some of the people in the crowd went ahead of Jesus. Some of the people followed. Everyone shouted, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the one who comes from the family of David. Jesus entered Jerusalem like a gentle king. And now it's time for a little skit. Whoop, whoop, skit. Whoop, whoop, skit. News. I'm your host, Oswald the Ensball, and today we have another wonderful episode of our segment, I Witness. The segment of this news program that wants to investigate and then question all of those who are there. The first hand accounts of people who lived and walked with Jesus, so that we can further investigate the life, the death, the resurrection of Jesus the Christ. Today, we are having an amazing guest and an unlikely witness to give an account. But, welcome to the show, Colton the Talking Donkey. <laughs> Thanks! It's so cool to be on TV! And you can call me Colt for short. Oh, got it. So, uh, Colt, let me start with asking a, uh, the most obvious question. It's sort of the elephant in the room. Uh, elephant? Where? Is it Ellie? She's the only elephant I know in these parts. The rest are all down in Africa or India. No, no, there's no elephant. It's just an expression. Uh, meaning to say the obvious thing that everyone is thinking about. But, well, never mind. I want to know... And I think everyone watching at home wants to know, how is it that you, a donkey, can speak to us? All right, I get that all the time. As you may have guessed, there aren't a lot of talking donkeys. In fact, there haven't been very many of us at all. But I come from a line of donkeys who have had talking donkeys. And they say it can skip several generations. The most famous of all was my great, 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 great donkey. He's even in the Bible in Numbers chapter 22. God gave him the ability to talk to his master, Balaam. Huh, very interesting. I'll uh, have to look that up. Now, on to the subject at hand. You had a very up-close and personal encounter with Jesus at a very important time. Tell us more. Well, it's all pretty crazy. I mean, there I was, tied to my master's post, just munching on some food, when two men came and untied me. They told my master, the Lord has need of it. And somehow, that was enough. The Lord, who were they talking about? I was so curious and a little scared. What did the Lord need from me? But the fear went away when I saw him. Him? Him who? Jesus. The man brought me to Jesus, who was a little ways outside of Jerusalem. He then got on my back, and we rode slowly and gently up into the sea. It all seemed so strange, and yet somehow it felt exactly right. All along the way, Jesus was talking with his disciples. He was reminding them of things he had taught them before, about his love and compassion for the people of Israel and the whole world, for that matter, that the greatest people in the kingdom of God are those who humbly serve others the most, even that the Son of Man would suffer and die and then rise again. I didn't know what all that meant, but it mostly left my mind when we entered the city. 
It was like nothing I'd seen before. Well, go on. Tell us. Somehow, lots of people had heard that Jesus was coming. By that time, everyone had heard about Jesus. All of his miracles and the way he taught with authority. I overheard several people talking about how they thought Jesus was, you know, the Messiah. The one God was bringing to be king of Israel and free us from the Roman government. In fact, when Jesus was coming into Jerusalem, people shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Even some of the disciples were whispering to each other, remembering the words from the book of Zechariah in the Bible, which says, Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. They think this was a prophecy talking about Jesus, and the donkey was me. Hosanna means save us. Personally, I think they wanted Jesus to ride me right up to the Roman governor's palace to start a rebellion right then and there. But, but did he? <laughs> no. And that's where it all gets a little odd. For as much popularity as Jesus had with the crowds right there, he went right on through and eventually went to a more quiet place. Then he had no need for me and returned me to my owner. That does seem a little odd. Most people work really hard to become famous and stay in the limelight. Exactly. That's how I knew Jesus was different. He seemed to be focused more on what was ahead. I think it had to do with what he said earlier about the kingdom of God coming and sacrificing for others. I even think he was talking about himself as a son of man who would suffer and die. I think Jesus really is a king, but a completely different kind of king than everyone thought. And to think, God could use an ordinary donkey or person to do his work. Wow, Cole, that's a lot to think about. Just what kind of king is Jesus? What kind of kingdom would Jesus be bringing in? Join us next time to Eyewitness, where we'll be talking to someone who hung out with Jesus and spent nearly every day walking with him. And maybe we'll discover more answers. I'm your host, Oswald and Enswald, and this has ended well. See you next time. Bye-bye. Did you know that there are over 2,500 different types of palm trees? I didn't. And did you know that one type of palm tree called the wax palm can grow to be 160 to 200 feet high. Wow. How many chances is that? A lot. Alrighty, awesome. All right, so we're gonna do our shake break and today's shake break is the shakedown, but we're gonna add a little bit of a twist to it. All right, so um, we're gonna start off, as you know, with shaking our left hand and then our right hand then our left foot and our right foot is starting at eight. And every rotation, we drop a number from eight to seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But we're going to progressively speed up a little bit and see how fast we can get going down to one, all right? All right, so we're gonna start, all right? So let's go, wait, right, yeah, left, yeah. Left, right. <laughs> one, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. 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 All right, now we're gonna give your funny bone a little exercise. Now I'm bringing up Evan for some holy, holy humor. humor. <laughs> 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 okay, too much, too much. I understand. All right, so I got a joke for you. And it goes like this Three people were out golfing one day Moses, Jesus, 
and an old guy. Moses goes up to putt, boop, rolls down the hill into a pond of water. Well, Moses walks over, parts the water. Tees it from there, think, hole in two. Jesus walks up, puts the ball on the tee, boop, meow, sploosh, also in the water. Jesus goes over, walks on the water, tees it from there, boom, meow, bloop, hole in two. The old guy ooh, walks up, tees the ball, eh, and it just meow, off the team. However, a squirrel comes running, meow, grabs the golf ball, and then an eagle comes, grabs the squirrel, whoosh, and as the squirrel in the claws of the eagle fly across the golf course, the ball drops from the squirrel's mouth, hole in one. Jesus looks over to the old guy and says, nice hole in one again, Dad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 All right. Um, today is Monday, which means it's Music Monday. So we want to share with you a song idea, but to do that, we're going to have one of our other camp staff members, Megan Newell. She's going to share about a song she really enjoys. Hello, welcome everyone. Today's Music Monday song is called The Answer by Jeremy Camp. I don't know how many of you have seen the movie I Still Believe, which is a movie based off Jeremy Camp's story, um, but I've seen it recently, and ever since I've seen that movie, I've been listening to Jeremy Camp's songs, and one of the songs that I really enjoy is called The Answer. The Answer is a song that talks about how our circumstances in life, no matter what we're going through, fear, anxiety, whatever it is, Jesus is the answer and he can help us through those times and he's the person that we can lean on. So I, I encourage you to check it out, The Answer by Jeremy Camp. Hey. And for today's Game of the Day, it is called Run To It. So you can either play this in your yard, you can pick a certain color, somebody calls out a color, Say it's blue. You have to run something in your yard that's blue and try and be the first one there. Or you can go for a walk and like walk around and every time that you get to a mailbox, you can say, okay, we have to run to this next location. You'll go as fast as you can to the next one and then walk for a little bit and then go to a different one that you choose. Run to it. Awesome. Thanks, Bree, for that game of the day idea. I don't know about you, but where we are, the weather is gorgeous today, and it's supposed to be really nice tomorrow as well. And so we thought it'd be great to get outside and get some fresh air as much as we can while uh, keeping all the proper social distancing. So some fun ideas. Um, just a reminder that in the description of this post are some conversation starter questions about Palm Sunday. You can even talk about what you learned at church uh, from yesterday, if that's helpful for you. Otherwise, there's some added uh, Bible verses you can read and uh, learn more about the story. Just a reminder then that you can go play the game of the day, whether that's right after this or later. Um, you can uh, listen to the song that Megan mentioned for Music Monday. The link to the YouTube video is right in the description. Uh, and so there's all kinds of things you can do after this. We hope that you'll uh, remember to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about uh, things that we're putting up and sharing as resources for you during this time. And uh, that's about all we have. So thanks again for joining us for one more episode of One Hour of Power. Let's pray to close. Repeat after me. After me. Dear God, Dear God, thank you for a great day. Thank you for a great day. Please be the king of our lives. Please be the king of our lives. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.